to talk to y'all today about something. Do y'all know what this is? Calendar? A planner. When it's made into, when a calendar's made into a book, they call it a planner, but it's really just a calendar made into a book. So what do we do with calendars? We write what's going on in our lives. Like, what kind of things might we put on a calendar? Your birthday, maybe we'd put um, holidays from school, we'd plan our vacations, and maybe we would put our doctor's appointments, blah, or maybe the dentist, double uh. So calendars are pretty handy, don't you think? Do any of y'all have calendars at your house? Yes? You don't have a calendar? Well, you're gonna get one at the end of this, when all your very own. So a lot of you now use um, phones for your calendars, but I usually forget my phone, so I have to have a real one. But do you see all the things that I've written on here? Okay, tell me, there's something wrong with this calendar. What is it? Can you tell me what's wrong with it? It's from 2020, exactly. It's an old calendar. All these dates have already happened. They're in the past. So why would I keep an old calendar? It's not any good, right? Well, you know, something that the calendar reminds me of is my past. Sometimes we make mistakes. You guys ever make mistakes? You do. Do you? Oh, Alyssa, I know better. <laughs> well, did you know sometimes grown-ups make mistakes? It's hard to believe. And can you keep a secret? a really big secret that I don't want anybody to know. About a week ago, I made a really big, big, big mistake at work. A really big one. And I was really embarrassed, and I was really mad at myself, and I yelled at my friend, and I hurt her feelings, and that made me really sad. So I got mad, and I left, and I went home, and I cried, and I cried, and I cried. Do you ever cry when you make mistakes? Do you ever cry when you make mistakes? Yeah, sometimes we do, don't we? Well, you know, after I had cried all my tears out, I found myself just talking to Jesus about it. And you know what? I prayed and I prayed and I gave it all to him and told him all about it. And you know what? He forgave me. Jesus loves us, and so he forgives our sins. That's what the Bible says. If we believe in Jesus, he will forgive our sins. So in my heart, I felt very calm after that. And I knew he was telling me that it was all going to be okay. And you know what? When I went back to work, I still mis the mistake was still there. We had to do some things to fix it. And my friend forgave me. But it was in the past. I didn't have to worry about it anymore because Jesus took care of that for me. I was very happy about that. So that's something a calendar can teach us is that we can leave our mistakes in the past. It's kind of like when we make a mistake. It's like when you wear your backpack. If you carried all your mistakes in your backpack, it's like taking that mistake out of your backpack and putting it in Jesus' backpack. You let him carry it for you because that's his job. And we don't have to worry about it. I want to show you something. This is my new calendar. It's all clean and pretty. And I decided the day that I made that mistake is on this calendar. But I decided I was going to cross off all the days of this year. That way it would remind me that they're in the past. I can't live them again. We're not going to do them over. We're going to leave them in the past. And we're just going to look forward to all the fun stuff that's going to come. I've got all you kids' birthdays in here and all the holidays so we can look forward to all that and leave all the icky stuff in the past with Jesus because that's where he wants us to keep it. Because it's hard to look forward to fun stuff when we're feeling sad about the past, don't you think? Yeah? Okay, well, I made everybody a calendar that you can hang in your room. And I wanted to remind y'all that when you do make mistakes, Jesus will forgive them and because he loves you. And there's a lot going on in the world right now. I want y'all to know that we love you too. Spirit of life is here for you no matter what happens, no matter what you do, no matter what I do, no matter what's going on. We love you, and we're glad you're here. And if you'll meet me at the back, I'll give you your calendar and a treat. Okay? Thank you, guys. You can go to Children's Church now.